Uh, it's just a standard um, well, crate motor C15 6NZ. Uh, the truck's a glider, so nothing you know too crazy pumped up wise. Got a PDI tuner on it, PDI uh, turbo. Uh, I believe it's a 78 mil if I remember right. Um, like I said, nothing too crazy, but just a cat power. It'll get it'll get you up the hill. Yeah, yeah. I love What's going on, mother truckers? Uh, we're hanging out here today. We have a very special treat. Uh, it's very rare that we get the builders of, uh, genius builders of trucks on here, you know? Yeah, I'm Nick with Amcan Truck Parts. We're out of Pewaukee, Wisconsin. Uh, we have a parts store for a lot of custom aftermarket things. Uh, pretty much one of those things, if you can't find it somewhere, you can come find it or we're gonna find it for you. We also have a paint shop, build trucks like this one here. Uh, built some other ones in the past that are kind of out there. and. We try to we try to uh, make sure we got everything that guys can't find in places. Um, that's our our niche is we got the details of what people don't know is available to them. So really, so if you want one of the baddest trucks out there on the road, then probably uh, go to you guys. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, you don't have to. I mean, necessarily come to us to build it. But if there's things that you're looking for that you don't know but you want it, um, most likely I can either find it or I can get it for you or get it done and get it made for you. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I appreciate that. And you know, before we talk about this truck right here, where can people see this truck? Uh, so this truck will be making its uh, next move. Will be at the Amcan Truck Fest, June 9th and 10th. It's a Friday and Saturday. Uh, Friday we have tra truck and tractor pulls. Um, some family things going on. It's just a, it's a, an event for the customers. Um, it's customer appreciation is how we view it. Uh, it's a wash and show. We have a couple of awards, um, but it's it's really just, you know, get guys out there that want to just display their truck or have something on display or it doesn't have to be you know something of this magnitude just bring a truck come enjoy it come come have fun with the family and and take part in that but that's june 9th and 10th at the racine county fairgrounds in union grove wisconsin uh it's about 10 minutes off of i-94 it's pretty easy to get to uh, it's a larger area so bring bring your truck and trailer we got a place if you don't want to have the trailer in the event we got a staging lot for the trailer and stuff like that so i appreciate that so let's get into the fun stuff yeah. what did you guys do and concepts when it came to building this truck and who did you build this truck for so we built this truck for travis sankin a uh, long time customer and friend um, we built one for him in the past that we uh, it was already had been built but we revamped it and did some fixed some things on it for him and whatnot and this one here was a build that uh, unfortunately it took us a lot longer than we planned but uh, COVID definitely hurt that one um, the, the ironic thing about this build is Travis's family is a big-time fuel hauler out of Illinois and their colors from his grandpa's day have always been uh, red and green and Grant Alderman is a very good buddy of Travis's and, and Travis's and Grant's relationship is one of those that it's constantly like I got one on you kind of thing or they're constantly messing with each other yeah. so Travis uh, being Travis wanted something to kind of put a fire under Grant and that's where the blue came from because the milk money truck and stuff that we built for um, for Grant uh, had this blue color frame and uh, when that came to being done uh, frame paint Travis came through and Snapchat, good old Snapchat, and you know, stirring the pot, <laughs> filmed it and said, "Hey, they're building a truck here with your color frame," and then it it fired it all up, and now it's it's kind of a laughing joke. It's pretty funny because Grant gets a little worked up over it, but it's all in good fun. So it's it's that's kind of the neat story behind it. That's how it was, and you you see colors and like people come to you with colors, and you're just like, I don't know if that's gonna work, but then. To see it it's like okay that, that's cool i it, like it it looks good man yeah yeah uh, i love it so let's walk some specs yeah so we start out here uh it's got a 12 gauge front end um front clip stainless steel um four piece makes it look like a 379 um we added the uh, 12 gauge grill bars it's got a 12 gauge stainless steel 20 inch bumper um rockwood products out of manitowoc wisconsin helps us out with uh, these headlights it's just a factory headlight i send them all to him and he shaves them for me uh, we took the factory front 
um, supports for the fenders and the rear or the, the front and rear supports and had them chrome just so they blend in with the grill crown uh, it's got a 359 front center hood strip on it kind of give it that little bit of classical look to go with the air cleaners it's got uh, dynaflex cake tops on it it's got a 12 gauge uh, visor there it's it's not a one-off but it's it had a little bit of adjustment done to it just so you can say you got something a little different it's kind of a common style now um, put some bus glass in it just tried to tie in that old school feel um, door mounted mirrors it is a 2019 389 glider so we had to do some you know modifying got some door mounted mirrors on it uh, again you know dealing with that classic look we did three watermelon lights on the front with the short brackets just to give it a little bit of a classical look uh, JTX these wheels here are actually from JTX out of Texas um, they're pretty nice I mean I'm I was never one for the large hole but they did a it's, it's a pretty cool look I think it helps and it goes along with that hot rod feel that Travis was going for when he you know first came to us and said what he wanted so we uh, we got those wheels there from JTX all lifetime nut covers their front hub covers lug nut covers all that fun stuff it's got a 12 gauge gen 3 front air ride 12 gauge uh, lift bumper uh, Dynaflex under hood chrome I, I'll pop that hood open for you guys to see Appreciate all that, that. Uh, just the small details you know we painted the wiper blades and the, the arms and stuff like that seven inch Dynaflex exhaust 12 gauge battery box covers lifetime nut covers step treads painted that the factory air tanks put some uh, Phoenix stainless steel straps on there uh, 12 gauge cabin sleeper panels 12 gauge one off did these fuel tanks for us uh, the tanks are completely smoothed out you can't see the welds on the caps kind of a common thing if it comes to our shop it seems to be what we we get asked for it's got aircraft fillers on it it's another little nice little touch usually those are sitting a little bit higher so you can see them these ones they were built in to be a little bit of that French to look hidden out hidden away little uh, details um, again back to everything just having a clean hidden look we got some 12 gauge uh, fuel tank hanger covers on it hide all that you know funkiness and the, the casting and whatnot uh, Iowa Customs deck plate uh, it's got an airline box up here at the front that is just uh, got a little cover on it if Travis happened to need to hold, haul something that's got a uh, you know front hookup on the trailer or something uh, fenders are York corrugated out of Pennsylvania they're a one-piece full fender, the longest that I could get. Kind of goes with that whole straight, sleek look of the truck, going with the full fenders. Travis originally wanted double humps, but we put them on, and they just didn't they didn't carry the look of the truck. You know, everything, like I said, everything is straight. So we went went with these here. Uh, it's got T-Cane covers on the wheels. Um, again, JTX wheels. Holland polished fifth wheel. One of my favorite details about this is when you when you deal with 12 gauge and Jim Higgins, I call him Uncle Jim. He's he, he's my guy. Um, but when you deal with them and you tell them what you're building and they can get their their ideas rolling and you get to talking and you're constantly bouncing things off and ideas off and stuff. And they're the ones that can help me make something happen. They actually made this one off eye panel and rear taillight bar that matches. And it's just got a small enough detail that you don't notice that it's you know truly custom until you get up to it and walk around but it's got a dished deal where the like this taillight bar it's mounted off the backside, but it's offset just a little bit it's just an added little detail to it and then if you were to actually look closer at that eye panel same thing the stainless is set back it's kind of got a three-dimensional look to it and it just carries on it's it's just a nice clean one of those things that you just don't notice until you actually walk around and look at it. Looks beautiful, brother. I appreciate it. Yeah, can we check the interior yeah, a little bit? Yeah, see what you guys did. Yeah, so the interior we have uh, another guy that we deal a lot with and a good friend of mine is Randy with Spare Time Fab. Um, Travis is a lot like me. We're, we're pretty big baseball fans and we were talking about, hey, what color are we gonna do and stuff like that. And uh, when it came to the interior, um, I have a wallet that my mom got me for Christmas a few years back and it's a Rawlings wallet. And that I showed it to Travis, and he's like, "That's it." So this is baseball glove uh, leather interior, and we went with the red stitching just to give it that you know baseball feel, but also give it a clean, classy, classy look. You know, you see everybody in uh, these Peterbelts nowadays, and they're putting Kenworth interior in them. And I always joke, sadly, I'm a Kenworth guy. Now I shouldn't say sadly, but I'm a Kenworth guy. So anytime I can kind of get a knock on a guy with a Peterbelt and say, "You don't see a guy with a Kenworth putting Peterbelt interior, but you see a Peterbelt guy putting Kenworth interior in it." It's just kind of like a you know a little bit of a, a funny joke about it, but this one you know is kind of give it that 359 feel, something similar to it. It's not exact to what they would have done in the 359, but it's clean enough that it you get the feel. 
our shop um there's something that i feel like we pride ourselves in is our paint work on like the dash and stuff like that it's fully smooth um we use a, a high build primer uh, we do these door panels here and everything like that and we get it all smoothed down painted just so it's just as you know flat and, and glossy as the exterior of the truck uh, randy did the seats for me uh, 12 gauge built me that neat little um, air horn train horn valve cover there and randy wrapped it for me uh, that we got a 12 gauge overhead console in here uh, we put a stereo and some speakers and stuff in there we're not not huge on stereo installs and stuff in house but we'll we'll give a guy something that we can at least you know make some trouble with i guess you know l listen to your music a little bit louder um rockwood products floor rockwood seat bases uh, rockwood uh, thresholds there this is a 45th anniversary um build for sankin so this was their their debut truck for their 45th anniversary um so that's where that all comes into tie there uh, and i'll pop the hood open here yeah, for you it. okay So yeah, the, it's got a Dynaflex air intake system like I had pointed out before earlier in the video. Um, chrome valve covers, I got those from 75 Chrome Shop. That's kind of uh, kind of where my whole scheme of Amcan when we first started it came from. It was a, I grew up around 75 Chrome Shop. Uh, the Farkas family, they may not know it, but somebody that uh, I highly look up to and anytime that I can do a little bit of what they do or use them for something, I'll definitely use them. So we got those valve covers through them. Um, this oil blow tube here is a SH tube. They do a lot of nice work. We, we do some business with them. Um, they've, they've, they definitely have a product that is, is got a calling. So it's another thing we stock a lot of and have in house there for them as well. We're a PDI dealer. So anything PDI that we can get, this has got the, their oil fill. It's got their manifold on it. Their stainless polished turbo with ceramic. Let's go on the other yeah. side. Yeah. So I like to be a problem solver and, and usually when it comes to a build or something you get an idea or the customer gives you an idea and and you start brainstorming. I'm the type of person I'll be laying in bed and I'm just thinking of what I can do or what you know what's available out there. And when I built the truck for Don Wood with DSD, we knew we were putting a vintage air system in the truck, so I didn't really have to worry about the compressor, you know, that's pretty much a hot rod car compressor just needs to be a pad mount and you're good to go. Well, Travis saw that truck and was like, man, I like the amount of chrome that's on there. What can we do with this? And it's like, well, you're using a factory system with the heater box and all that. So I actually found after doing some research that the Mopar for the Dodge Ram uh, pickup uses the same compressor with, for the most part, the same connections. I had to get an adapter that allowed me to utilize the factory hoses and stuff like that. So that was pretty cool to be able to pull that off and not have to overly think it or just make it happen kind of thing. So no, that's good, man. No, I appreciate it. You know, some people don't know, but this man right here is a part of some of the biggest builds in this century, man. I would yeah. say it so. Yeah, it's uh, and, and that's the thing that I grew up with. You know, I know a lot of people, and that's the coolest thing is you, you try to get me on camera quite often, and, and I, don't, I don't like being on camera just because, you know, for instance, this truck here, I built it for Travis Sankin, and I'd, I'd rather him, you know, be here enjoying this and talking to you about it and whatnot. But unfortunately, he's, he's kind of busy with work, so he wasn't able to be here. But it's, it's cool because, you know, I don't know how many people can say they, they build trucks. You know, whenever somebody asks me what I do, I say, well, I build custom trucks and have a parts store it usually gets a uh, reaction where they're like, I didn't know people did that. So it's, <laughs> it's pretty cool. You know, my family's in trucking. Uh, I'd be a third generation trucker if I did truck. So it's, it's in the blood. So just to be able to work on this and be home on a regular basis, you know, I still put in some pretty late days. So I don't, uh, I don't have the uh, opportunity to say I'm home and, and enjoying my family yeah. regularly, but it's something I need to work on definitely. Um, but yeah, so it's, it's cool to say, you know, and have people like yourself or someone come up and, and, you know, notarize that it's a cool build. Or hey, I'll be the first to tell the truck drivers out there. Uh, Nick is a good friend of mine and he's a super humble guy. You know, we like to poke fun and make fun, but when it comes to taking credit for anything, he's not that guy that wants to take credit for any of it. So, you know, we got to give people their flowers while they're here, brother. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean? yeah, definitely. I mean, honestly, we couldn't do this without the guys in the shop. TA Truck Painting, uh, John and Jeff, um, they, they were well known for their paint for many years. Um, and we got some guys in the shop that, 
they've got a skill set. And if you didn't have that skill set, you know, you couldn't, I'm not going to lie to you, I can't fab up all this stuff or do, I can do a lot of installs. I can tell you how you're supposed to install it. I can do that stuff and, and tinker with it and stuff. But at the same time, I get so busy myself that I, I can't work on all this. And without those guys in the shop, I mean, we, we really couldn't present something like this. So I, I definitely got to make sure that I, I let those guys get their you know their claim to fame too we got some we got some pretty good guys in the shop that they definitely deserve i'd love to have them at events like this let them walk around and you know for instance be on this you know camera or be well i'm gonna here. put that part in the beginning of it oh, yeah. so that they could get the love and if nick did miss any of them you know any names he didn't mean to yeah yeah definitely <laughs> i appreciate that and, I, and i'm hoping to have them at the truck show I, you know it's something that i'm really pushing hard for to have them at our event uh june 9th and 10th and and just have them out there and see what this kind of work means to our customers because at the end of the day this is we're professionals and we build these for the customers I love so it. i love it man so all y'all come check them out you know i'll vouch for this man you know <laughs> humble it. guy uh, if you want to support someone uh, support a guy like this so i appreciate you brother. Yeah. yeah always man thank you very much <laughs>